Hello everyone. Um, I've been doing some research regarding surge devices for reef tanks. So I thought I'd use my tilapia here as a little experimentation ground. See so how the dishes. Anyhow, what I have here is set up basically um, I have a CPR overflow over here, I have a return palm touch by a filter down here. Um, that's not what I want to show you. Over here, this is my mock surge device. If you look um, inside, it's slightly different. Um, it doesn't have the U-shaped scan pipe that you see in most diagrams um, for surge devices. What it has is called a bell siphon. I borrowed this bell siphon. Um, I used to do some aquaponics, uh, hence the tilapia. And, um, if you look at it, it's basically a 2 inch PVC pipe uh, with a cap glued on top. It's airtight. I have these little notches cut out of the sides here. Uh, these notches will act as a method for drawing water up into the pipe and as a siphon break whenever the uh, water level drops to there to let air into the um, top of the bell. So if you see inside the pipe here, uh, instead of pump running, just a stand pipe. Um, it's only three quarter inch PVC. Ideally I'd use a larger diameter. This is just some scrap I had laying around. So you see whenever you place the bell over, it immediately starts to siphon air from up here down through the pipe and in turn draws water up through the pipe. Um, of course this is, like I said, slower than I'd like, but again I'm just working with some scrap that I'm laying around just for proof of concept. So once it gets down to those little slits that I showed you, right there, once it gets down to those, the air will rush into the top of the bell and break the same. And it starts filling up again. If you look down here, I just basically have a 90 degree elbow down here. Um, next time it fires, I'll show you. This is just going to be a couple seconds here. Now this pumps a lot faster than needed for this diameter pipe. Um, but again, like I said, it's just stuff I had laying around. So getting closer here. Once that water hits the top level of the standpipe under the bell, it'll actually start to overflow into the pipe, which will create a vacuum and then suck the water out, as well as draw the water through. That's firing here. And you can see, uh, it creates quite a bit of current, uh, if only momentarily. <coughs> So in order to put this on a reef tank, uh, definitely increase the size of the bucket. Uh, I think that bucket's only a three gallon bucket. Um, you know, maybe a 20 gallon aquarium to drill the bottom, something like that. Um, the larger diameter pipe. And um, that's it. <coughs> the only electricity required is the uh, pump to run and the uh, rest of it's gravity. So, do you have any comments, questions, concerns? I'm all yours.